exactly how big is the universe? It turns out that this is not a very easy question to answer and astronomers have been trying for a very long time to get one. Finally, we have been able to make an estimate, a lower limit to the size of the universe. The cosmos that we can see, the observable universe accessible to us, is at least 78 billion light years in diameter, or 39 billion light years in radius. But how can this be? If nothing can travel faster than light, and the universe has only been around for 13 and a half billion years, it seems reasonable to think that the farthest a photon can ever travel is 13 and a half billion light years in any one direction. At first glance, this appears to violate Einstein's theory of special relativity. Common sense would seem to say that the observable universe must be bounded by the age of the universe. Using this reasoning, the universe should only be 27.4 billion light years across. The reason this isn't the case is that we must take into account the expansion of space-time. We've recently discovered that new space-time is constantly being created. The universe is getting bigger. And this has been happening at varying rates for over 13 billion years. When light leaves a distant star or galaxy, its photons race out at a fixed speed. 300,000 meters per second, the speed of light. As it travels through space towards our detectors, the universe through which it travels is not standing still. New space-time is created as it travels, so when the photon actually arrives, the distance it has traversed has increased. To see how this works, imagine you and I are on a road, 100 feet apart, and I am going to walk toward you. By analogy, I am a photon leaving a distant galaxy. Imagine further that as I walk, I am traveling at a fixed speed, but the road beneath my feet actually begins to stretch, increasing the distance between us. I will eventually get to you, but it will take longer, and when I do, and turn around to see how far I've come, I will have walked much farther than 100 feet. If I started 200 feet away, it would take me even longer and I will have walked further still. Each time I increase my starting distance from you, I will always walk farther than the starting separation distance itself. It's as if you keep backing up, moving away from me. There is even a point that if I start far enough away, depending on the rate of stretching of the road, I won't reach you at all. The creation rate of new space-time is not constrained by the special theory of relativity like a photon is. There is no speed limit for the expansion of the universe. These are galaxies within the Hubble Ultra Deep Field. The galaxies in this image are the farthest we've ever seen. The universe was only 600 million years old when this light was emitted, and much smaller. If a photon leaving this galaxy, after making its long, arduous, 13 billion year journey to our detectors, could turn around and see how far it had come, it would learn that while it was traveling, its home galaxy had moved 39 billion light years away. No laws are being violated, no speed limits broken, and no paradoxes created. This photon was bound by Einstein, but expanding spacetime is not. It can stretch faster unhindered by relativity, and driven by forces and energy we are only beginning to understand.